Welcome to this third in the three-part series where I am taking an IFC file and going through the process of converting it to geodatabase, georeferencing it, and then publishing it to a web scene. So in this third section, I'm going to handle the part of publishing to a web scene that's been greatly simplified in ArcGIS Pro 1.3 by the adding of some very useful geoprocessing tools that will allow me to create what's called a scene layer package. So there's a geoprocessing tool where I input different 3D layers and it will output for me a scene package. There's an additional tool called share package which will actually take it the next step and push it to my ArcGIS Online account. Because I'm working here in ArcGIS Pro, I'm logged in, um, it's going to upload this to my content. And so I've gone ahead and um, just done this for each one of the multi-patch layers that I have converted from an IFC file in that first video to a geodatabase that I then georeferenced in the second video and now I'm going through and, and publishing to a scene layer package and then sharing that scene layer package to ArcGIS Online. And so um, I'm just going to go ahead and run this model that I created um, that does it for each one of the layers in my 3D scene here in ArcGIS Pro. The result of which will be scene layer packages added to my ArcGIS Online content. I'm going to have to do a, an additional step after this finishes and publish my scene packages to scene layers and then build a web scene from those layers that I can then share out um, to um, people who need to see my web scene. So I've switched uh, to my um, login here in ArcGIS Online and we can take a look at my content after that um, those, that model had finished, that geoprocessing model. And you can see that I have a number of new scene layer package items. And so if I, look, if I open up one of these scene package items, I can see um, that, I've pub that I've gone ahead and um, added to ArcGIS Online. But I want to go to the extra step and publish my scene layer package and basically unpack it. Uh, unpack the package and it's going to generate um, an actual scene layer. And so I'm going to repeat that process for each one of the scene layer package items that my geoprocessing model had um, placed in my content on ArcGIS Online. And so I could have uh, you know, created those scene layer packages one at a time by entering the geoprocessing tool, but I chose in, in this demonstration just to show them in a, in a model and I'm doing them all at once. Then I'm going back here on ArcGIS Online and then just kind of systematically each one, one at a time, publishing the scene layer package to a scene layer. And so just going through them one at a time. So this is an alternate workflow from publishing to portal. So um, I could also publish to a portal within my organization, um, but in this case, I'm, I'm actually going to ArcGIS Online um, through a, a scene package. So I step through them one at a time. And next, I've successfully generated scene layers from my packages. I can add them to a web scene here in ArcGIS Online. So I'll go through the modify and then add layers. I'm going to search my content for um, these layers that I just generated. And I'll go ahead and then add them to my scene. So I'll go ahead then and add those all to my globe. And then can zoom in to, uh, to the area where I know these are at. So our buildings here in Chicago. And those are going to start to stream into my scene.
and zooming into my web scene here, I've I get the different uh, scene layers that were generated originally from an IFC file that I converted in the first video. Once I've added my scene layers to my web scene, I can um, modify and configure the different scene layers to control things like transparency. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and save my web scene uh, as a collection of these different layers. I've noticed that I've actually forgotten the walls on my building, so I'm going to go back here and I guess I missed this one step of publishing that, so I can go ahead and then um, publish my walls and again just repeat that step, going back to the, uh, the web scene that I'm building and um, we'll pick up that additional layer from the scene package of the walls. So I'm just browsing back um, to my web scene that I'm building. And I can go to the modify once again. And I am searching for those University of Chicago layers in there. There's my walls that I just um, updated. So now I've got walls on my building. And again, um, once I've added the walls, I can configure my layer um, to add just a little bit of transparency um, that'll give me kind of a unique look here inside the web viewer in my web scene viewer once I've uh, modified some of the symbology I can make um, some slides um, and so um, I also want to control the, the I can control the the background maps that I'm using in this case, I'm going to add the imagery. And then I'm going to go ahead and create some, some slides, some bookmarks for me to navigate around. So I can start, start with this view. I'll call that my starting view. And then I'm going to add one more. Let me kind of zoom into one of the, one of the rooms inside the building. So let me zoom inside here. And then um, maybe we'll create a view outside one of these windows. So I'll find a place where some, we have some windows. I'll get myself inside the building looking out. And we'll say that's a, a view that I'm interested in sharing. Create another slide. We'll call that room view. And we can be done with that and save my scene. And now I've got uh, my completed web scene. Um, and um, it's even got a couple of bookmarks that I can help people who navigate my 3D web scene. Can take a look at the starting position. Okay, that brings us to the end of this three-part series where I started in the first video and converted an IFC file to a geodatabase. In the second video, I went ahead and take that, took that geodatabase and georeferenced it using ArcGIS Pro 3D editing tools. And then in this last video, I took that information, um, created some scene packages, uploaded those to ArcGIS Online, and then published those scene packages to scene layers, and then built the web scene. Thanks for watching.